Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back to the Crust. Alright, so last episode we managed to get all this up and running. Um, if you're a very keen observer, you'll notice I hooked a few of these things up wrong, and I uh, put them on wrong productions, and I think it was like these two maybe. But uh, yeah, anyhow, or it might be even this one too as well. But yeah, so I fixed all those up. They're all producing what they should be producing. Um, this one is empty because I keep emptying the line and trying to feed the machines upstairs, um, which is kind of an endless battle. So I'm probably going to end up buying those parts. Um, another thing I did in between videos, I sped up the main production belt for our resources to come in. Also added the one on the titanium and the iron over here as well. Um, we are reaching our limit to CPU, so we're going to have to probably add some more of these in. Which I'm thinking eventually I might just make an entire room just dedicated to those and something back here or whatever. And then it'll be connected to this eventually. Um, that'll be for future, future expansions. Um... I also put in another one of these, so that way my drones, I'm carrying 100 items instead of just uh, 50, right? So I'm going to switch these back out and forth uh, for mining. They did mine and pick up all the regolith and everything all over the place, so we do have this big, massive, expansive area down here with only aluminum. So if we really do need space later on, we can, like, swing it around and come this way or something or whatever. I'm going to try to avoid doing that. I want to try to stay in a nice straight line. <laughs> Don't know why, but we'll, we'll just see how well it carries out, right? Um, now, for the beginning of this episode, I think I want to upgrade just one of these. And then that way we're going to be pumping out resources a little bit faster here. But that means I'm going to have to upgrade these two. And I want to upgrade these two as well. Now, I'm probably going to have to do some more contracts to get some more money but um another thing i wanted to do is we have like 1800 of these so i would like to take a belt and then i'm going to do actually this first that and that and what my plan is is i want to recycle these materials for now just so that way we're creating more of this stuff down here because technically half of it is kind of going back into here as well, right? So if we make another one a dem and put on some belts, yeah. From here to there, we build them and then we just got to get power to this guy. Uh, sure, we'll do something like that for now. So that's going to get us more of these plates, and that's going to help, uh, I believe it's this one right here. That's going to help these frames to come out faster. But I'm going to buy those frames to finish the stuff up here, right? So it means we're probably going to complete a contract or two in order to finish this. Um, so I'm only missing one there. That's... 80 so that's a hundred okay <clears throat> so go here go to the market we can buy we're gonna make this a bigger one i want to see if i can get all this in one shot uh so i need a hundred and one of them uh, the nanotubes, I'm going to need 12 of these. Oh, that's... Come on, come on. I wish there was a way to just to type in the amount that you needed. There we go, it's got 12. Uh, 62 composites. Okay, so we're jammed out on that. All right. 43. I should try to get 42 and then I just got to buy 20, right? Come on. There we go. I'll buy 20 next time. 20 composites. 
All right. Uh, what else? And 10 control units. Or 11, sorry. Um, and the nanotubes, I already got those. So yeah, I think that's good. Oh, so it's a cash problem, is it? That's not good. All right, so we'll just take off the nanotubes for now, and I'll buy that. And then I'll do a couple of contracts. How's that sound? I think that sounds good. Let's go here. We'll pop you here. And then let's see if we can go do a contract. Try to get some moolah. Do I have 75 of those? I don't. All right. I do not. All right, next one. I have to get into making fuel because fuel is pretty good. I've seen some contracts go for quite a lot in fuel. 101 for a thousand. I don't even think I have a thousand metal anymore. I do have a thousand brick. Okay, let me do this one. Let me do that one. 12,000. Oh, okay, so I should put the nine on. There we go. Send those. Right. Then. Then there's that one. That one comes with six or less than six. There you go. So let's uh, unpause that for now. I'm going to need another one of these here because this doesn't know what materials are coming out what side. So I'm going to have to try to figure that out. And I can't just put that right into there because um, I don't have like a smart splitter anywhere. So I can't really direct the, the stuff anywhere. So I don't know. Did I get any of those? See a distributor. Those are like a smart splitter. So I don't think I've uh, I've done that yet. I don't think I've researched that. Uh, that would be in fundamentals. Wonder where that would be. Those are solars. Huh. That's crazy. I guess you think I. Uh, Urgent. Could do it. But my contracts are exceeded right now. I don't know why. I thought I was able to do more than one contract at a time last time. Thought I unlocked that. Didn't I not? So shall. No, I did not. It's right here. The extended list. I have more contracts at once. Interesting. Maybe I should do that one. So I can have more contracts at once. I think that would be good. So now I just need to get power to these guys, huh? Let's do that. Um, like this. Like that. Like this. Come over here. Uh, oh, it's because of the rock that's there. All right. Well, the point's right there. So we'll just jankily do something like that. I'm uh, gonna go way over here, and then maybe I'll do the same thing on this side. There we go. You can be connected to there. You can be connected to there, and you there. All right. So those will all get power. That's good. Um. Now I think we're just missing the. Composites? No, those are done. Uh, control units, right? Yeah, the 11 control units. Market. Uh, we'll uh, grab the cheap one. Awesome. Pop that there. Right, 
so that should be... I'm missing five frames for here. I'm making those downstairs, so maybe I might just wait for those. Not that important, that. <clears throat> All right. So now, now we want to build one of these things, okay? Mobile drilling rig. So now we're going to need 22 composites. I'm making these downstairs. So 22 of those and five of those. So that means we're going to have to fulfill some more contracts here and uh, make some moolah. Um, what do I got for... Well, I do have a thousand of those. Maybe I could try to sell some aluminum. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Let's try to sell some aluminum. You want 98. Let's start at the top there. Yeah. It's not that bad, though. It's a pretty good price. It's not a lot of materials. They are offering quite a bit of money. Oh, and it's one of these. All right. Uh, sure. Sent. Uh, hopefully you'll get there in time for the contract. If not, I just screwed up, but eh, whatever. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> it's because I was an idiot and didn't look on where I was selling it to. That's fine. Uh, that means, is that my only contract that I'm allowed to have, though? Oops. Probably. 86 days. Ugh. All right, well, whatever. We'll just let that go. So these guys should finish that off. But I'm going to need the money, though, right? Is that the whole purpose? That is the whole purpose. Ugh. Uh, how many did I need of those? Five. Yeah, I wouldn't even have enough money for those because they're 20 gram a pop. And then I needed like 20, 22 of those. Or, yeah, 22 of those. Yeah, I wouldn't even have enough money to, to buy it anyway. So, oh crap. All right, so I'll be back. I'll wait till um, I get the money to, to do that then and buy the parts since uh, I kind of screwed up on that, uh, that one. So, anyways, I'll be back. One thing while waiting for this to go. Um, one thing I can start doing is this right here. The ge geological exploration. So, what this is going to do is this is going to scan the area. And it's going to do a half decently sized circle. And it's going to look for materials such as, um, I'm assuming, deposits like iron and, and titanium and all that kind of stuff, right? This is what I assume. I haven't actually found one yet because, like, this is the first time I'm getting into all of this stuff. So, this is just me figuring out if things, how they go and as they go. And then you're going to see the circle is going to stop. Eventually, you can get um, the circle to go bigger and you can scan higher areas. So, now we're, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click, right click over here and go dispatch to scan. So, what he's going to do is he's going to go over here and automatically scan that area for me. And then I'm going to keep doing that until I get, like, um, a whole area done. So while waiting for this guy, that's what I'm going to be doing in the meantime. Because this is really time-consuming. And I think this would be a good time for me to actually start doing that in, while waiting for this contract. So, uh, yeah. Um, so I'll continue doing that. And then when I come back after I get that contract and I build those parts, hopefully I'll find a spot where this rover had found something useful. All right. All right. So we're back in action now. Um, I've done a lot of scanning and I've also noticed something that I didn't notice before, but uh, notice on the side over here, we got a bunch of different things. Well, if we just say, oh, well, we really need more titanium. Well, we can click on titanium and we can say, oh, well, look at this. This is a very rich spot of titanium over here. Same here and here and here. And I didn't notice these buttons before, but uh, now we can uh, we can take a look at stuff. So I went ahead and I bought the um, the stuff required for the, the rig. And since it's like titanium that we're kind of short on, I'm going to send them... Um, do, do, do. Concentrate on titanium, and we're going to send them over here, and we're going to dispatch them to mining. 
and then we're going to see what he pulls out. And if he's pulling out like mainly just like titanium and probably like maybe some rare earths or whatever, then we'll be able to come back here <clears throat> and set this up properly. So that way we're feeding the right materials into here and sending them into the right places. And if we have to build more of these, we can do so as well, because we do have a little bit of room and we do have some room downstairs as well. So we'll figure out that let's uh go back up here and we'll take a look at this guy doing his thing he's pretty slow so that kind of sucks but in the meantime i'll probably just keep doing a little bit of scanning around just to give us an idea of what's around us and then when he gets over here uh we'll have a look at what he's doing and uh we'll go from there all right i'll see you in a bit all right, so we're back now, and if you can see, you can see that he's mining uh, slag, iron oxide, titanium oxide, some silicone, and aluminum. Uh, we're getting rare earths, so that's pretty good from that as well. And then within that regolith, this is what we're supposed to be kind of bringing back. Now, in order to get this stuff back to him, we click on our wonderful little cargo truck, and we'll say uh, lead base. And then he'll be out here, and then we can go pick up resources. And then he should go out there and pick up the resources, if I'm not mistaken. We'll watch him leave. I might have not been clicking on him. No, it seems like I think that's going to work. I'm guessing. <laughs> there we go. Okay, he's going he's going to go pick up the resources and he's going to come back and bring this here um to here so in the meantime we need to kind of set this up so that way we can kind of do the regolith and then the uh rare earth stuff because <clears throat> the rare earths we don't want to um we don't want to get mixed up with the other stuff right so We'll put that there. We'll look downstairs. That looks pretty good. Um, I think I'll bring the belt out this way, around and down um, for the rare earth. But we'll let them complete that in the meantime. We should be able to have all of that, which is fine. And then up here, we'll go with a large storage. And we'll put uh, one here. And we'll put... Uh, one here. Research complete. Yeah, that looks good. <clears throat> All right, that's good. Um, the mining efficiency one, and then smelting. That's the one we want here. So that way we're smelting things faster. I will bring that up so that way it's the next in priority. And that's going to help us for the geological surveys that we're doing outside. Um, I also went and upgraded our power infrastructure because I noticed we're tanking really, really bad on power at night. So that's not good. It's probably these buildings over here that I have. I'm um, sorry. No. But I did do some contracts, so we're up we're up in the pluses for the, the money-wise, which is really good. Um, wrong button, bog. All right, so he's on his way back with materials now. So he's got 3,000 regolith and 500 of that. And then he's just going to continue mining and so forth. So eventually we're going to have to build another truck and maybe set up two of these guys going back and forth. And then maybe eventually having him mine out different resources depending on what we need. Or buy more miners and just have these ones dedicated to certain spots and having them send those materials back. Which probably also would be a really good smart thing to do. Thus, this would get way bigger, right? Because we'd be bringing in so much more materials. And then at the same time, too. So, 450. 500 I got. I got 100 of those. We're going to get some green science. You know what? Let's do it, my friend. Let's do it. So, we'll go to you. We'll send you everything in one shot hopefully 
Uh, okay, so it's 9,000 right on the nose. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, you guys do that. It's probably going to, like, seriously overload you. So that's going to get done. This guy is going to come home with that. This I want to make as rare earth. This one we'll put it as regolith because that's what he's bringing home, right? Um, we'll go with the uh, faster belts on this one. Now, why would that have been there? Must have been the last place I clicked. So we'll do something like this. Something like that. Like this. Um, I don't know which material he's going to bring in first, so I'll maybe I'll do this side first, and I'll see if rare earths will come out of here first. So we'll build those. Okay, so he's on his way back. That's good. Very good. Very good. You guys are almost done that. I love it. It's worth having those ones at uh, the big haulers. Go through contracts so much faster. There, are power, just a tank in the way. Eh? Well, that's not good. Okay, so this guy drops off stuff. Uh, looks like those are the rare earths, so that's good. And then if I go back to here, I can just connect you to there, build, and that should just be regolith. That's beautiful. All right, so we'll let that go. Contract complete. Beautiful. So we get some extra money, more science. That's beautiful. And then we can get through this stuff a little bit faster, right? So now it's the green is almost done and the blue. The blue is a little lackluster, I guess. Uh, well, compared to the other ones, yeah. So I guess maybe we can try to find something that has blue science. Let's go back up here. Uh, something that has more than 60 blue science. If not, I'll do something with, uh, of course, something I'm not, I'm not even making yet, eh? 60. See, that wouldn't be so bad. Let's do that one. Um, you can go, you can go. And you can go. We don't need it in that one, but we can send it in that one. That's fine. What are we missing here? Frames. You're just missing to get built. And you're missing frames. So I could prioritize you. Oh, you guys are building this stuff over here, so that's kind of important as well, right? Yeah. All right, good stuff. Contract complete. Beautiful. Now we got a little bit more science. That took some days off of that. Almost cut it right in half, which is good. So it means well, like when we're up here scanning around, um, we'll be able to scan bigger areas. I'm just going to go around like that now. Like, And eventually I'll probably just stop scanning because it'll be just a waste of time. I'll have pretty much all everything I need, right? Got that. Got that pretty good there nearby. Uh, silicone right there. Rare earths. Ice. Okay, so there's the ice. Aha! That was the blue blob that I was looking for earlier, the ice one. All right. Cool, cool in the gang. But we'll just leave it on that for now. Um, so he's going back and forth doing his thing. You guys should be... I guess I could buy just like a few frames. I do have money, right? Mm, up here, let's buy like, oh, I don't know. Just 10. There we go. A little bit of, a little bit of stuff here. Those frames, uh, these things here are used to repair these two things. So that's why I buy a, a few extras. Uh, can we, like, uh, do this, boys, please? Because it almost looks like you went and you just put them into the storage instead of bringing them here, which is kind of stupid. 4,000? No, sorry, man. I don't have that kind of output just yet. All right, so. 
Oh crap, that's not exactly what I wanted here. Uh delete, delete. Shh note. Um because that's gonna screw up downstairs. Now that I did that. Uh okay. So let's go and just put a fast belt from here to here. We'll build it. Let all that go. And then now that we got down to the rare earths, we can just drop the material. And then inside here, we can choose to drop that. There you go. Now that'll be good. So that's going to help with the little regolith and the hopefully making more of this. So let's go and get these ones ready. Here to here, here to there, and then we should be able to go just straight down into this thing here. We'll build all, then if we grab this to here. And we'll build that to there, build. That should be bringing in all the rare earths. That'd be good. And then this thing is going to be making... Hopefully tons of rare earths. Ooh, that just come in there super fast. Okay, so this we should upgrade a couple times. There we go. So that way it goes in just as fast. And then hopefully, eventually, we might have to set up a couple of these. Which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I'll do two of them for now, right? And then we'll go you to you. And then just a normal conveyor belt, you to you. Build up. Uh, did I poop up here? I think I did. This. Here. To here. Yes. There we go. Then we just need to connect power to that guy. And you should be good to go. And at least we're making a half decent amount. There we go. That's beautiful. Now I feel good. Now, now we got uh, the rare earths coming in. And we got the regolith coming in whenever he's uh, he deposits it. So right now we're always probably going to be pretty pretty low on that stuff. Um, and those are all the fastest belts too that I've probably got faster ones, but I think that's fine because these aren't really backing up. These ones are, but the other ones aren't. Um, mainly because I didn't upgrade. I only upgraded this one to the second one. I never did the first tier. I didn't upgrade those ones at all, so I think that's fine. Um, we are eventually going to back up on this. I did put two more storages here, so that way like we're backing up on it instead of selling it all the time, because who knows what we're going to need down the line. And I'd rather kind of back up on certain things, right? Um, other than that, I think we're doing pretty good, man. We're doing really good. Like, we got the... The mining out here started, so that could help us save us for the rare earth uh, elements eventually, and that way we're always fabricating those. Um, now we should have lots of uh, titanium coming in. Like, um, if we go back to these things, where are the outputs? 22% silicone, 15% titanium. So it's still not bad. We're still getting a higher silicone ratio, but that's fine. Our, our titanium is higher than our iron, and our iron is backed up like some fierce man. Like, I'm probably going to end up putting a couple more storages here, too, so we just back up on steel. I think that would be a good thing. Um, I could maybe put one here and then maybe two here. And that way we could stock up on the steel instead of just selling it all the time. And then if we do get a big contract while well, we have that steel... I think that's what I'll do right now. Um, let me delete this one, this one. 
that and let's see if we cannot put two of these in here I'd like to put one here one here and then I think we should put one here See? Yeah. All right. That into there. This into here. This into there. That into there. This into here. Then this will hold steel. That one will hold steel. And this one will hold steel. I'm going to go back to the uh, belts here right quick. There we go. Alright. Let's do that. Let's build those. I think that would be a smarter thing to do. And then what we'll do is we'll just... Uh... Oh, and that's done being built, I guess. Those are being built. I guess this one right here, I'll... Uh turn on for the moment and then they'll just pick up everything that's on the ground and they'll just put it in here and then when they're done that that'll be it so i hope you enjoyed the video everybody um pretty much well we got uh, the mining ready to go the whole nine yards i'm pretty happy with the the way this is turning out um, i think we're getting a lot more titanium Not really, I think we're kind of tanking down, but at least these are kind of like producing and that was my main goal, is that I'm cycling these. Uh, maybe I should stop that for now and we'll see how, how this turns out. All right, so, and then we'll check out the output later on and we'll see if we're still furnishing these things fine. Because now this is all backed up and we're pretty much well just furnishing whatever we can, right? So, all right. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.